All right, Go fans! I know tier lists are all the rage right now, and much to my surprise, not one of you has asked me to do a Go Shapes tier list. So here I am answering the questions that aren't even being asked to make a Go Shapes tier list. And if you're confused as to what a tier list is, it's just where someone takes a whole list of something and basically ranks them. You know, what's what's best, what's worst. I got the tier list set up here from Supreme tier all the way down to D tier. Uh, you know, it's kind of like a grading scale, A, B, C, D, and then if it's just, you know, beyond grading, if it is just so amazing, right, we can put that in the Supreme, the S tier uh, class grade. So that's the basic idea. I got a whole bunch of shapes down here for you. These are these are shapes that you should be intimately familiar with, hopefully, if you're a Go player. And uh, let's start. So I got this bamboo joint. And uh, how good is the bamboo joint in, the, in a game of Go? And I should give you some criteria here, because I'm not just grading these in like terms of how good they are in a game of Go. Um, but also, you know, get some bonus points for how common they are, right? If they are, if they are really worthwhile knowing or if they're really frequent, I think that gives them a little extra credit. If they're particularly fun to use or tricky to pull off or like really advanced, uh, like, like some forbidden knowledge, there's some, there's some air or cachet around them that also gets them some bonus points. Uh, and, and. You know, there's also just a frequency of how often I see them being played as a mistake, right? The more often I see a, sh a shape being played as a mistake, uh, especially by Q players, uh, that that lowers its that hurts its rating quite a bit. So it, it you know maybe there's just some personal preference as well on top of all this. Of course, this is very subjective. We're here having fun. Um, anyway, those are the criteria. Bamboo joints. Where are the bamboo joints? All right, bamboo joint definitely not S tier. Like bamboo joints are super strong, right? But they are actually not good ice. They do not make ice. Like they just. They're terrible at making eyes. So I don't I wouldn't even put them A or B tier. I think I think bamboo joints are really just C tier. Maybe like C plus B, like a high C, low B. We'll put them there for now. We'll see. We'll see. We might order things as the other shapes come out. Bamboo joints are great. Like and, and they make the one of the most solid connections of the game, but they're not as good as most people think they are. And so that's why we're gonna put them down in C tier. Alright, the next shape is cross cut. And this, oh my god, I can't believe we hit one already. This this shape is amazing, right? This is what Go is about. Like this, like of all the shapes here, this is the spirit of Go. When you have two opponents who've disconnected each of their two groups of stones, right? This is where this is the start of every single fight. Every single fight on the Go board will have a cross cut at the center of it. Isn't that amazing? This is S tier. Like there's no question. Like cross cuts, like I mean, oh, like that is the mascot shape for the entire game. All right, dongos, dumplings. Uh, this is ass. This is just an ass shape. Like this, this is D tier. Like there's no question. Do not make that with your stones. <laughs> if you can make that and win, like good for you. Like maybe there's some there's some panache there, but you know we don't we don't want to ever champion the dumpling shape. That is D tier. I think you all agree with me. Ooh, the next one's great though. Look at this. We have the double hane, and double hane is great. It's not always applicable. I, th I think people apply this shape more often than they should, but it's still really strong. So it's not, like I can't, I, it's definitely not a S tier because it's applied incorrectly so many times. And it's probably not A tier because again, you know, uh, like, like I think there was a period of time in Go where this was really popular among really strong players and the robots actually don't tend to, they still like it, but they don't like it as much as us humans. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking it's B tier. Like this is this is a solid shape. Like I love pointing out to Q players in their games. Like oh, you could have double Hane here, and their minds are just poof, blown because like what double Hane? It's not even on their radar as a shape. So it's good. Like du double Hane is good. All right, elephant eye. Oh man, this is this is a hard one. This is a shape that we see like like creative Go players make this shape a lot. Um, or elephant, I guess it's technically an elephant jump because it is. We're looking at the two white stones, not the hole in between them. Though there is a marking on the hole. Elephant jumps are. Oh man, uh, you know, I'm I'm not going to put them deeds here because uh, they're actually really good <laughs> when played correctly. Um, again, the robots tend not to like them very much, but you know, I don't I don't think Q players make elephant eyes that much. Like, so I don't have to worry about people tripping over this shape. Like, this is kind of like one of those shapes, like, if you know, you know. 
And so just because it is, it has like this forbidden knowledge to it, I think this is an A tier. I'm not just doing that just to balance out the columns. Like I, I know it just worked out that we have, we have all these shapes uh, are, you know, one, <laughs> one per row uh, here. But no, this is kind of a forbidden knowledge shape and it's sexy. And I like that. Like this is a, this is, this is like, if we talk about go as an act of communication between you and your opponent, when you play this, this elephant jump shape, like you are, you are saying some sexy, sweet nothings to your opponent. Like this is like, Ooh, come invade me, bro. Like, like put, stick it right in the middle here. Like this is, whew, I'm getting hot. All right, here we go. Let's go on the next shape. Let's do two space jump, two space jumps. Or if you played on the edge of the board, you can make a two space base with this. This is solid. Um, definitely don't want to play this in the middle of the board that often or where you don't have a lot of support so it's so it's not it's not a universal shape it, you know we're not it's not s tier is all i'm saying here um you do have to make a lot of bases with it so it could be a tier but you know with robots and such i don't i, I feel like it's old-fashioned like i feel like yes there's plenty of still like relevant joseki today that are still playing two space jumps in them i feel like it's a little old-fashioned and so i, I kind of feel about it like the bamboo joint where it's just, it's just very plain, like it's fine. Like I play a lot of them in my own games. Like it is, it is one of the moves that is very much within my style. But yeah, it's, it's, it's not sexy. It's not at all like the elephant jump. Like that is, a, that is a sexy, sexy shape. This is, you know, it's very flat, a little thin, you know, eh, it's, it's fine. <laughs> I, I, like, I like a little more, a little more intrigue, a little more, you know, left to the imagination. All right, uh, let's do Kosumi, the diagonal shape. Now, this this is solid, and again, depending on what year we're we're pointing out, if we were going back to the the nineteenth century, oh man, this would be this would be such an S tier kind of shape. This was this is a super efficient, super strong shape. Today, we kind of see it as a little bit slow. Like, it's still played a lot in like three four um, low approach responses, so it's a little bit slow. It's at least B tier. I can't. I can't really give it A tier. It's. It's. I gotta put it with B tier. Um, yeah. It's. It. It's. It's a shape. No. I. I kind of want to downgrade it. Is it. Well. Also, I have to rank these things within. I think. Um, yeah, I definitely want to put it below double Hane. Does it beat bamboo joint? I don't think it beats bamboo joint. Because this is. This is. This is like so vanilla. Like this doesn't even feel like making a shape. This one. This one. When you play a bamboo joint, you're like, I have made a shape. And you say that to your opponent, and your opponent is just like backs away from the table in awe of your awesome shape making ability. So, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna demote this one. This one is gonna go down to C tier. This is a little too too plain. All right, the Hane, Hane, so good. Uh, you know, it's oh, man. I already have the cross cut, and I feel like the Hane is basically just the, the preparatory for the cross cut. Is S tier? Like this is top of A tier at the very least. It might it might be S tier. Uh, man, I, this is this is hard. This is, this is, I think A tier. Yeah, let's say top of A tier because we play Hanes all the time. We love Hanes. Like it is, it is the bread and butter of the Go board. And you know what? I just freaking love bread and butter. Like, like a good butter with some good bread, man, there's, there's nothing like it. Like that's, that's all you need. All right, let's uh, grab one over here. Let's try to mix up the colors. I guess I'm doing how many? I guess I've got, I need to do another white one. Let's do another white one. Uh, try to balance out my <laughs> my number of stones on the pretend tier board here. Uh, oh, this is tortoise shape. Now, tortoise shape, actually, before we do tortoise shape, we should do ponuki shape. And this ponuki shape, you'll see, not where my mouse is, let me grab it in a different place, has a stone already in the middle. And that's very important. If you're just making ponuki shapes just because, that's kind of like a C or D tier thing. <clears throat> but ponuki shape with the capture of a stone, super strong. You get the bonus point from the capture. Uh, you, ha you already have an eye. Um, this is, this is either top of B or low A, I'm thinking. Uh, they, they, it even has, this is one of the shapes that have its own proverb, right? If you make a panuki, that's worth 30 points. Uh, if you make a panuki at the, the, uh, the corner of the board, that's worth 20 points. <laughs> you know, just, but if you make a panuki, like, like it's, you're doing something right. If, especially if you capture an opponent's stone. So, uh, let's put a bottom of A tier for now. Again, the double Hane isn't usually recognized as like iconic of a shape as the panuki. Like again, you make a panuki, like you're saying, you're saying, I know how to make good shape to your opponent. So it has a statement that goes along with it. All right, now we can go back to tortoise. And tortoise shape, 
All right, tortoise is, tor is, is strong. Let's just state that. Like, tortoise shapes are strong. But strong doesn't make it good. And often, tortoise shapes are actually over-concentrated because even though you captured two stones, you played six. And so, in that respect, it's sort of like making a panuki shape because, you know, you again, you played six stones to capture two. A panuki shape, without a capturing of a stone, is just play four stones. Six minus two is four. Panuki, four minus zero is four. So this is like a bad panuki like most of the time. And it, usually we encounter at the edge of the board where it's the least impactful. And so I'm going to put this at the top of D tier. Like, I think, I think there's going to be some controversy here about tortoise shapes because people are, people are scared of tortoise shapes and rightfully so. But usually most of the games, my opponent makes a tortoise shape. I'm happy about it because I've over-concentrated them somehow. And that's where you actually see tortoise shapes happen. So it's not as bad as a dumpling, but oh man, whew. Yeah, it, you know, you have if you can't effectively use your tortoise shape, like you're gonna lose the game. Like you're over, already over concentrated. All right, here we go. Uh, this shape is trying to illustrate nobi or extending one line. This is great. Like nobi, nobi is is so good. I'm gonna put it actually next to hane because it, this is again like your bread and your butter. Maybe your butter and your bread. Which one's spicier? Your spicy habanero butter and your your sourdough bread. I guess is probably the more. <laughs> appropriate continuation of this metaphor. Uh, your opponent, you know, pushes into you and you just extend. Nobi. Like, ah, beautiful. Like, this is this is also the bane of every... It's definitely lower than the Hane, right? Because Q players tend to just build walls. Your double-digit Q, like your 20 Qs, your 25 Qs, they just want to build walls. And so they Nobi way too much. So it gets, it gets a little bit of a bad rap. It is really slow, but oh man, is it one of the most secure solid shapes. So it's, it's A tier. It's A tier. All right, we got to do... All right, here is the sake bottle shape, or sometimes called, like, small dog's head. Um, I'm not sure why there's two of them on this. We've got three black stones and three white stones both making it. This is actually not as good of a shape as people think. Um, you can actually turn it into a mouth shape if, if you know, the situation is right. So it's not like it's, it's a terrible shape. Like, it is a named shape. It even, you know, has, like, an actual, you know, Japanese character name for it. Um... And or actually multiple, I guess, because it's also it's you know it's dog's head and sake bottle, right? Like it has it has multiple names. So in that in that respect, it's not D tier. Like it's it's already it's it's above D tier. It's totally not A tier though. This is don't make this shape. Like this is not something that you should be striving for. So somewhere in here, um, you know, I I I have, I have to put it at the bottom of C tier. Like honestly, like some I, I'd so much rather you know, get a Kosumi or two space jump than these things. Often when you play a sake bottle, it's very defensive. It's like, you're just, you're just shoring up defenses. You're making sure you can't be cut. It's a boring shape to play in the game. You're just saying, don't hit me. And it feels so slow because of that. So bottom of C tier with you sake bottle. All right. Table shape. Now table shape is one away from mouth shape, which we haven't talked about yet. Um, but table shape usually doesn't have a stone being captured in it. And you can see over here, this mouth shape, we've got a stone being captured and a cut. It actually has a cross cut inside of it. So that's pretty cool. This has none of that. We're just trying to make the, ta the, uh, the mouth shape without any of the fun stuff. This is like, we're, we're just reducing and then making a shape in the middle of the board. Um, it's definitely not S. It's definitely not A. Like this is okay. It's fine. Like it's, it's, it's like, a, it's basically a bamboo joint. It's a bamboo joint. This is a little bit faster. Um, I'm kind of, kind of feeling like it's above bamboo joint because it's a little bit spicier. You know, it's just a little more exciting. I'll put a bottom of B tier. Like, I, I feel like there's a huge gap here between, um, the double Hane and this though. Like, they're both a little sexy. They're both a little exciting, but man, double Hanes are, are, yeah, so much tastier. All right. Uh, let's do the one space jump. Oh my gosh. One space jump. So good. Like this is such a fundamental shape and go. Um, it's definitely not D tier, C tier. I'm pretty sure it's outside of B tier. I'm, I'm, I'm sure we're looking at A tier. I don't think it's S tier. Uh, like it doesn't, it doesn't define the game of go. Um, but make, taking territory, right. Getting a weak group out, attacking, um, in, like, <laughs> you know, uh, invading and, and reducing, like there, one space jump is in all of that. And so, man, I, I might even split up the bread and the butter here. Like, I think we got, we got, um, I think, I think, I think Hane is more important than one space jumps, but one space jumps are better than nobies. So I have my bread and I have my butter and there, my metaphor has now failed because there's, you don't stick anything in between the bread and the butter. Uh, but yeah, one space jumps, super important. Oh Yeah. 
All right, this one is supposed to be a tiger's mouth. And usually when you play tiger's mouth, you have other stones around it. So, I'm, so I'd, I'd much prefer this picture if it had white stones um, all around the outside here. So if you had a white stone there, there, and, you know, maybe not there, but probably there. Like usually you have two tiger's mouths or a connection here, like something here. So this is kind of an incomplete, but can you guys picture a tiger's mouth here um, around this? Now here's the thing about tiger's mouths is that on one hand, they're kind of like a panuki, right? It could be like, oh yeah, we're about to make a panuki and that's great. But the reality is, is that tiger's mouths are often terrible. Like you teach them to beginners as a way of connecting. And yes, there's totally time and place for tiger's mouths. But, oh man, do they have defects. They can usually get haneed and atari around the outside or poked and peeped at their, at their you know, the, the fourth, where the fourth stone would be in the panuki. They're not a good shape. This is not a shape you want to celebrate, you want to make too often of. And oh my God, like double digit Q players and single digit Q players make this shape way too often. And so actually seeing too many tiger's mouths in a day kind of pisses me off. <laughs> Does not put me in a good mood. I'm, I'm demoting this all the way down to D tier. It's, it's better maybe than the tortoise shell and the dumpling, but not, it, and actually look at this, the tiger's mouth is actually one stone away from the sake bottle. So that's, that's consistent. I feel like you're a D tier shape. You stay down there, it's tiger's mouth, be a PSA for all the Q players who make this shape too often. All right. Uh, this shape, the modified bamboo, it has a name. I don't really know what it is, but it's, it's a, it's usually a terrible bamboo, uh, joint where, you know, you want, you want your bamboo joint to run one stone faster for whatever reason, but you're going to leave some defects. Are these defects worth it? Usually not. Usually this is a bad idea. It just gives your opponents free moves here, right? This poke at B is particularly painful. Um, but there's also a poke over here too, um, that, you know, after, depending on the outside stones, if you have any other stones around here, there, it's, it's just, it's just like a bad man's bamboo. Like, do you really need to run out one extra line when you're playing a bamboo joint? I mean, yes, go is flexible and infinite and there's always a time and place for everything, but oh man, does this shape kind of, it just kind of blows. Like this is, this is bad. Do I, all right. So it's definitely below bamboo joint. So it's, it's below, it's below. Hmm. I like it. Do I like sake bottle better? I think I like sake bottle better. Is it better than hang tiger's mouth though? That's the question. I reserve the right to change my mind on these when I look at the entire shape list at the end as well. Is it better than sake bottle? Um, no, it's not better than sake bottle. So it's better than tiger's mouth. Mm, no, not better than tiger's mouth. Better than tortoise shell? No, not better than tortoise shell. Okay, there we go. That's its place. Pretty, pretty, feeling pretty good about that. All right, another one. And the same while we're on the table shapes and sake bottles and the, the modified bamboo, we have, there's also, this is like halfway between a bamboo and a table shape, but neither one of them. This is the loose table or the some kind, sometimes called the tippy table where you have one stone out of the place. And this shape I actually like. I like this one a little bit better. It's usually a bit faster. Um, you can actually make some eyes out of it. Um, it's a little more flexible. The problem, and you can, and don't get me wrong, your opponent can still poke this, but when they poke it, you're actually going to turn this into a good shape, like very naturally. Whereas when you poke one of these other ones, like this modified bamboo, this extended bamboo, if they poke it being you have to connect it, you just made an empty triangle. And we haven't talked about empty triangles yet, that, but that's coming. Um, so anyway, tippy table. Uh, I like it better than the table. Not bad. I don't like it better than the double hane. Again, double hane. This is this is like actually a nice gatekeeper that separates, I think, the A tier and S tier from the rest. Uh, that's that's good. All right, we only have four left. We're making making great time here. Next, we got to do the iconic mouth shape. Oh man, this. So, like, this has to be S tier, especially if you capture a stone and it's fixing a cut. Like, I'm just gonna throw it out there. We're gonna put the mouth shape S tier, and. It's not because it's that awesome of a shape. Like that that's I like it's a good shape for sure. But it's not that awesome of a shape. What it is though is that it is like the poster child for good shape. And I think just having that distinction, having to wear that burden around its neck whenever it goes out in public, just knowing that it represents the entire shape community uh is you know, that's worthy of making it S tier. You know, it may not be the best, it may not be the strongest, it may not be the most ubiquitous, it may not be the most common, but God damn it, when people think of shape, they think of this one. 
Like this is, this is the first one you learn when someone's like, oh yeah, that's good shape. I'm like, what are you talking about? Well, here, here's a good shape and it's the mouse shape. So, you know, my friend, you're not, you're not as definitive to the game of Go as the cross cut, but you are worthy of the S tier. Good job, mouse shape. All right, we got a knight's move. Uh, this is this is pretty solid. Um, it's definitely not as strong as a one space jump, but it is sexier. Maybe those two kind of cancel out. I, it's got to be around here. It's probably below Nobi. Yeah, I, I think I, I feel this is a this is it's an A tier shape um, for sure. This is not as it's it's a little more twisted. You know, it's got a little, it's a little, got a little darkness to it. Yeah. Which brings us to the large knight's move. Now, this is definitely not as strong. Oh, man, but is this sexy? Like, I love, pl like, for me personally, like, I love playing large knight's moves in games um, because it just slows the entire game down. Everyone has to read everything much more carefully, <laughs> right? When you're dealing with large knights, just because they leave such more blaring holes and defects, it is, it, it, it does transform the game in a way that I think pe most people don't realize. Um, and so I like it for that, but at the same time, I can't rank it above the one space nice jump, the two space nice jump. Uh, it's, I don't even feel like it's A tier. Like, honestly, I kind of feel like it's, yeah, I, I'm going to put it underneath double on A. Like, it's, it's just a full tier down. Like, it's not, like, it's good. Like, it's good. It's B tier. We're super solid. All right. One left. Uh, before we do the last one, I just wanted to look, did, did, is this the same shape tiers that you guys would have put? Cause I'm pretty sure my list is definitive and absolutely 100% correct. So, you know, please judge yourself in the context of my correct shape placing here. Um, but the grand finale, I have saved the, the last for the last, <laughs> the empty triangle. This is the poster child of bad shape. Oh, I didn't mean to put that yet. No, put it back. Can I, nope. I can't take it away. I didn't want to place it yet. Okay. All right. I think I got it. Uh, this is the poster child for bad shape. When we talk about good shape and people are like, oh, we'll make the mouth shape. And when people talk about bad shape, they're like, don't make empty triangles. They're bad. For that reason, you know, if we have, we can't have Batman without the Joker, right? We can't have Superman without Lex Luthor. Who the, who the hell's in Superman? We can't have black without white. We can't have positive numbers without negative numbers, right? This is the foil for this entire exercise in bad shape. When we talk about shape efficiency, often what we're just doing is counting like empty triangles. And hold on, let me give you one other little little fun tidbit. When when you see an empty triangle played in a game and it's like the correct move, like you like just an open-ended empty triangle on a go board, it is awesome. And I remember the first time when I was learning Go and I was reviewing a, a Cho Chikun game and he played this empty triangle move to, that, like he, he invaded so deeply and he had like no chance of getting his stones out. And he played this empty triangle of this like just, just stupidly terminal, terminal stones that were going to die from them to poke at his opponent's weakness, to give him one extra connection, to give him one extra tempo, to actually make a two-eye group in the middle of this thing. I was like, you know, it's just like jaw drop. I was like, what? <laughs> so that move wasn't even on my radar. So for that reason, empty triangle, you are top of S tier. You are a little unconventional. You are not sexy. You are not the hero of this story. But, you know, there is no light without the dark. And so I think that is the most important thing to remember for you, empty triangle we don't get our great tales of, of heroic uh, combat and heroic uh, adventure without villains like you. So you, my friend, you have won the shape tier list. Thank you guys for watching. Please, I, I've now I've saved this list on Tier Maker. I'll try to link to it if you guys want to make your own shape go shape tier list for some reason. Uh, I, uh, I hope this is a good way to start the new year. I hope that 2022 is more joyous, fun, and exciting than our recent past. And so I hope this video only brings more good omens to come. Thank you guys for watching.